Um, there is a lot of people talking right now saying that uh, if you don't wear these masks, then you're not going to be able to go to our, you're not going to be able to shop here, you're not going to be able to, you know, go to school, hold a job, anything like that. Uh, there is a lot of talk of that, and I am uh, I am very interested in that. I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on all that. Um, here's Here's what I want you to know. In Revelation chapter 13 is where I want you to see this, okay? There is coming a, a mark, and we're going to pull this up here on the eSword program. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, it talks about the beast rising from the sea, and it starts in verse number 11. And it says, There's another beast that came up uh, uh, out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb. He spake as a dragon. And he had all the power of the first beast. And uh, verse 13 says, or verse, yeah, verse 13 did great signs and wonders. And uh, verse 16 says this, And he, and he had, uh, he causeth all both small and great, uh, free and bond, rich, uh, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And so it says here that uh, if you if you take verses 13, 16, or excuse me, 15, 16, 17, and and you take that and just say, okay, what what is a maybe a contemporary modern something that could fit this what's what you're seeing well it has to be the the mask mandates that you're seeing now and maybe even even the upcoming shot now part of the title of this video was no shot no service and that's that's you know that's something that is going to be probably coming down the pike good good chance of that but i want you to notice at the end of verse number 15 it says it calls as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and so there is a great persecution that is coming for those who will not fall in line with this agenda. And, of course, I don't think we're in the tribulation period. I don't think that uh, that the mark of the beast is here. I don't think any of that. But what I'm saying is that there's, there's precursors to this. It's almost like we're being conditioned to this. And the way people are behaving now towards those who are not wearing masks... Um, it, it almost indicates like we're not too far away from that mindset already. Now... I want to just show you a couple videos here. This is one that I, I posted this on my own uh, Facebook page. Here's a man who's going to walk into a, a Walmart, and he's not wearing a mask at all. And I want you to notice how people treat him, how the employees of Walmart treat this elderly man. Apparently, he's, I guess he's uh, probably in his 60s or so. I'd, uh, that's not elderly. I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. Uh, but that's what I want you to notice how they're treating this guy, okay? Uh, so he tries to walk in without a mask, and this young hourly wage guy tries to rough him up a little bit. And you've noticed he, 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 the man's falling on the ground there, and he tries to get up, walk past him again. And they're, they're really harassing this guy, and I, I think it was a very uncalled for, very unprofessional how they handled this situation. And they grabbed his arm and all this stuff, and, and, and really a very just nasty altercation that they had here at this, at this uh, Walmart store there. That, that's not good, okay? Well, I, I believe this is the United States. It, it looks like it is. I have no reason to believe that it's not. But uh, this, this whole thing right here is this, this whole scenario that you're seeing is even bigger overseas. Now, I want to show you this. This is Melbourne, Australia, something that happened just the other day. And um, guys, uh, we're, we're going to show you an article about what's going on in Melbourne. It, it's really nuts, some of the things that are going on in Melbourne. But this video was taken and it went basically viral. And uh, I want to show this to you. Uh, this woman was walking down the street without a mask, and an officer grabbed her and tried to arrest her. She resisted arrest, but now she's being choked by this officer and uh, and put up against the wall. And, and really, this, this video goes on forever. But the reason she was being arrested in Melbourne, Australia, is because she was not wearing a mask in public. And uh, guys, this this is not some third world country. I mean, this is Australia. This is a this is a first world nation, and these are educated, rational people. These are not some you know. I mean, I'm, I, these aren't like pagan heathens. I mean, these are just these are just normal folks, you know, first world people, and uh, and they they basically beat the devil out of this girl. And I mean, you can see that he's just sitting on her, and she's so upset he has to sit on her and choke her. I don't know if uh, choking is uh, considered you know law enforcement worthy over there. I don't know if they're trained to do that, but um, but guys, if you're noticing, just cr just take that that video and cross reference that to Revelation chapter thirteen verse fifteen. And it says, and as many as, as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And so 
there's going to come a hysteria down the road that is going to call for the death of people who do not go along with this you know and that's really what's going to happen uh, i want to show you this to you this is uh this is an article we showed last week and uh this is i mean it's just crazy some of the things that are going on uh but in melbourne australia they are i mean they're fining people for being out uh they're telling folks that uh, you only have one hour a day to be outside uh you cannot um more than one person cannot leave the home at a time uh that's melbourne australia and they've got a tough new lockdown i think they've got a stage four lockdown in melbourne right now okay um but here in america here's what i want you to notice there are people in america now that are saying that if you do not wear a mask, then you need to be charged with murder uh, because you're a biological terrorist. That's what they're saying now, okay? Uh, this is the Tennessee Star, uh, Metro, and this is August 9th, so this is just uh, four days ago. Uh, Metro Nashville Council member wants people not wearing a mask to be charged with murder or attempted murder. That's crazy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Metro Nashville at-large council member, member Sharon Hurt said Wednesday during a vital uh, virtual meeting at uh, let's see at the Joint Public Safety and Health Committee that there should be stronger legislation for those not wearing masks and suggested they be charged with murder or attempted murder. Uh, Hurt said she works for an organization, organization that if they pass the deal there, then they are tried for murder or attempted murder. I mean, so, I mean... She thinks that the same standard should apply to the public. And guys, I mean, this is this is like hysteria level stuff, you know. Um, I'm I'm kind of unnerved by that. Uh, also, here I've got an article from LifeSite News. Uh, doctors lay plan out to punish people who refuse to take the shot, saying, "quote There is no alternative. Simply put, getting the shot is going to be our patriotic duty." You notice how they play these words, you know, like uh, you know, you were telling me today, preacher, that. Uh, that our heroes wear masks, you know. Masks. Yeah, and it's like you know, it's it's amazing. It's like right out of 1984, you know that that whole that whole novel there. You know, if 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 you love us, this is what you'll do, and it's it's a mind game they play. And it says America should consider making it difficult for those without the shot to participate in society. So I mean. We're there. We're there. That principle is there. Uh, this article says here, uh, August 11, 2020, LifeSite News, a, a, uh, a shot should be mandatory and tax penalties. <laughs> Good gracious. I can't even believe what I'm, what I'm reading right here. Tax penalties, higher insurance premiums, and denial of many government and private services ought to be considered for those refusing the shot. Three doctors argued in USA Today on Thursday. Right there. We're, guys, we're there. We're there. I mean, all the things are put into place right now, and uh, it, it's just wild how this is going. It says, while the measures that will be necessary to defeat the uh, the deal there will seem draconian, you think, uh, even anti-American to some, we believe that there is no alternative. Simply put, getting the shot is going to be our patriotic duty. Uh, there is no alternative to shouldn't have said that induced herd immunity in a in a deal a broad indu induction of immunity in the population uh, will be necessary to end this pandemic and so uh, they're just saying everybody's got to go take this if you don't then you don't love america and you can't have you cannot have basic goods and services no government services um and you can't you know you can't go into a restaurant you can't go into a government building get your driver's license you can't go get your court date uh if you have one uh you can't you can't go in there and pay your taxes and uh, matter of fact they'll probably send you something in the mail and all that kind of stuff but uh, guys i mean we're there we are there and so uh fellas i want to get your take on that and let's uh, let's talk real loud because my microphone is uh, is going kaput tonight but uh guys we're there we're there it is it is nuts the the attitude and so have you guys noticed anything while you're out something like that people are acting ugly towards you that kind of stuff Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. definitely. What, what like what kind of stuff have you seen? Um, I was at a, a local store one time, and uh, this is before the whole mandatory mask was out. But I was about the only one that wasn't wearing one, and uh, it was crazy. I, I got cussed out by an older man, 
um, mm. for not wearing a mask and I, I didn't say or do anything I was staying six feet away from him mm. and he just came right up to me and started cussing me out for not having a mask on goodness gracious that's terrible that's unbelievable and uh, I, I had a guy at Home Depot he was the cashier and um, and I tried to just push my buggy right up to his thing and he, he said nope sir stop 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 and he he like got real weird with me and just grabbed my buggy just snatched it right out of my hands and you know took it and made, he said sir stay back please stay back and I'm like what is your problem man chill out a little bit and we i mean i was like 10 feet away from the guy but but people are like they're scared right now and they're not rational and so preacher what have you seen out there yeah i mean a couple different instances one out soul winning and uh, of course we we never stopped soul winning through mm-hmm. this whole time and still i think that you know the mandate that the lord gives us is greater than anything else and so we're still knocking on doors and giving the gospel and uh we we're out a couple weeks ago and a gentleman standing on the side of the road and i approached him with the track and and uh you know introduced myself a little bit and got about six feet away he said whoa 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 right there social distancing please and uh so i of course you know trying to be nice there and okay and and the funny thing was when i gave him you know a little bit of the church information and the started in the gospel he reached out and, and took a track so uh the social wow. distancing went away Wow. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the crazy thing is it's everything's okay with social distancing and, and wearing masks and, and uh, you know, uh, unless you're protesting, then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's uh, amazing how that works. Yeah. Yeah. If you're out there throwing bricks through businesses who have done nothing to you, then you're fine. You're in the clear. Yeah, but if you right. if Granny goes to church, then she's a public, you know, public right. enemy number one. It's amazing how that works. And so um, I just uh, got a comment here on the channel, just looking at it. Uh, but somebody here just uh, commented, uh, Simon Samut says, I'm in Melbourne. And if we leave our house without a mask, we get a $200 fine if we get caught. Wow. So, I mean, can you imagine just police walking up to you, writing you a ticket, saying, 200 bucks, you, you, you know, look, hey, I, I just couldn't, I don't, I don't want to live in a world like that, you know. But that's where we are. And the reason that it's that way is because the media has just push the hysteria of all this to a point where it is people are irrational now and uh and i fear i mean it's i think the lord knew this was coming okay you know absolutely and he and he said all that and i think he warned us of all that and and to me it's this is a this is a wild time because it's like you look at the bible and then you look at the tv you look at the bible you look at the tv and they're saying the same thing right now and i I, you know i'm not old but I, i am a student of history and i you know, maybe the the uh, Spanish flu. There's something like this. I mean, that, that Billy Sunday was around during that time. But I mean, other than that, I can't recall any time really in modern history where anything on a global scale has ever been like this. Yeah. And it's almost like it's supernatural. Mm-hmm. And so, um, but let me show you this article here that I've got. It's it. it I mean, it, there's there's no there's no lack of weird articles about all this stuff. Um, but here's one. This is from Breitbart.com. Wisconsin forces employees to wear masks at home during Zoom meetings. Okay, so everybody knows what Zoom is. Zoom is like a, a Skype application here. And this is from Breitbart.com. He says, yes, you read that correctly. Even if you are in your own home, even if you are in your own home alone, the fascist Democrats who now run the Wisconsin state government are forcing employees to wear masks during online meetings. And so, guys, at that point, at that point, there's no logical reason for that. It's just about control. Oh, yeah. and that's really all it is. And so, I mean, I, I just... I, I'm just looking at the stuff and and all the people, the way people are acting. And, uh, you know, there's going to come a day where, and and, and maybe if if we take Revelation 13 and we take into effect uh, consideration that uh, the four horsemen, uh, what chapter is that? Uh, Five or six, chapter five or six for four horsemen. It's somewhere in there. Um, You know, one of them is the pestilence. And so at the end of all that, you're going to have, basically, if I did my numbers right, a quarter of the world's population is going to die. And if the world's 8 billion people, that's 2 billion people are going to die through all this. And if there's something, if, if the mark of the beast is something similar to this, then you're going to be called a bioterrorist and you should be killed. You should be put to death because how dare you, how dare you act like this is, a, you know, you're, you're, I mean, every accusation that could be thrown at you will be thrown at you. And um, you'll be denied services. I was saying this the other day to somebody. 
if you're a baby or if you're a woman and you're ha- going to have a baby and you've not taken the mark during the tribulation period, they will make you have that baby in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's it, and you won't be able to buy food. You won't be able to do anything. You'll have to. You'll be an outcast of society, and 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 to me, that's just that's just so unbelievable to try to process that. that that's hard for me to grasp, really. I got to be honest with you. Uh, but I mean, that's what the Bible says. And really, you study human history. Men have been terrible to each other forever, mm-hmm. and uh, it is it is wild some of the stuff that's happening. Uh, but have you guys seen any articles? I mean, things that are. I mean, there are they. What's the deal? We're here in Ohio. What what is the mandate on all that now here? What are they saying? Most places are requiring mm-hmm. masks. It started out as a polite recommendation, yeah. and I think maybe two weeks ago or so, it went to mandatory mask, and, and it's getting worse. I was in a store the other day, and uh, I had a mask up, and of course, you know, sometimes those masks are hard to breathe in, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, and so I had the mask, you know, up just right below my nose, and I was stopped. And said basically, I couldn't go any further until I put the mask up over my nose, mm-hmm. and uh, and so. Yeah, that was at that golf place, wasn't it? Yeah, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, oh my goodness! Well, it's 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 so hard for me to to know that these political leaders are saying this is what you have to do, and then you see them on, and if you don't do it, you get a fine or whatever. You get thrown out of some places, but then you see them on TV. They don't even know how to put them on themselves. Mm-hmm. And it's really it you know maybe I maybe that's just my inner uh, rebel right there having a hard time with that but whatever but uh, but guys I'm telling you this this is this is where we're at we are we are and I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast I, I would never say that I don't think it is uh, but the mindset in people that would allow something like that to happen is here mm-hmm. that mindset and uh, we put out a, a video just the other day and uh, talked about that with uh, it was on our channel actually it's got 26,000 views uh, on there the uh, the video we did we, if you take the word mask and you replace it with the word mark okay mask are required for entry just put the word mark there marks are required for entry that's going to be the tribulation period yeah. that's what, what it looks like and we are not far away from that at all and so i got a couple questions here if we if you guys help me answer these real quick and uh man just uh, just be real loud uh we'll, we'll uh, make sure everybody here hears you um let's see here moose man productions asked the question do you believe in the 1000 years to one day theory and if so do you think we are in the third day a.k.a. the last years on earth. What do you think about that? Yeah, I believe in that. Mm-hmm. One day with the Lord is as a thousand. You know, I think mm-hmm. that we have gone through, according to history, we know that this world, um, you know, is approximately 6,000 years old. And uh, we're getting ready to go into that seventh day. That's mm-hmm. the millennial reign of Christ. That's that thousand year yeah. rest period, yeah. you know, for this earth. So I I believe that, absolutely. Yeah, that, that, doesn't, I, I, that doesn't ring any bells with me in my Bible interpretation. So uh, very good here. Let's see here. Um, there's a guy who asks questions every now and then, named, and his username is the Internet is Satan. And uh, which I love these these names. It's some crazy stuff. He said some dude on Alex Jones today said that he had been a Southern Baptist for twenty years, uh, but he might become Catholic or Orthodox. Uh, could you maybe analyze that statement for me? Well, uh, yeah, that's pretty easy. I mean, that's what happens in ecumenicism. You uh, you get yoked up with the wrong crowd. You get involved with all that, and you don't. You, you just get to the. You start believing the lie that everybody's okay as long as you know. Maybe you're a little bit different, Catholic, Presbyterian, Methodist, Baptist. But you know, we need to set all that si- aside, and we're all the same, really. And really, that that's a lie from the pits of hell is what that is. And so, uh, you know that that is that is the end times ecumenicism. That is the end time danger of all that. You need to stay away from that. Um, Let's see here. Faith Griswold said, what should I do if my family is modernistic? Uh, Well, what you should do, Faith, is you should try to get your family saved uh, because a theological modernist is not saved. There's no way they could be because they deny the basic uh, doctrines of of Christ, 2 John 9. And so because of that, they have not God. Um, Let's see here. Trying to go through several of these questions here. Um, Let's see here. 
Comrade 9, question to Spencer, would you make a video about the pre-trib rapture? Yeah, we actually have. I did a video called The Seven Pillars of the Pre-Tribulation Rapture. Have you seen that chart that I made, the seven pillars of that? I'll, I'll pull that up here for us and uh, try, to, try to talk about that for just a little bit. But I have a video in my a playlist called The Seven Pillars of the Pre-Tribulation Rapture. I doubt right now that I could pull them all up. That would be, uh, uh, that would be uh, hard for me to think about all that. So uh, let's see here. Um, I got... Let's do one more question. Um, Mike Trigoning says, Tattoos. Even if someone has a tattoo or something like the cross or a Bible verse, do you think all tattoos are evil or no? Pastor Spencer, what do you think about that? Well, I, I don't. Well, according to the Word of God, your body is the temple of mm. the Holy Ghost. Mm. You know, in the Old Testament, he had a temple for his people. Mm. In the New Testament, he has a people for his temple. Mm. You know, so wow. if your body does not belong to you, then I guess you're not able to do with with it whatever you want to. Right. And, sure. Uh, sure. So um, I think all those markings um, can be pagan. Mm -hmm. I think the Bible is very clear about that. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Bible does have things to say about marking the flesh. Right. But sure. There's severe judgment that goes. Well, our bodies belong to God. Mm -hmm. You're not your own. Right. And so what we do with our bodies is important to God. Right. Right. Well, I mean, that's that's part of, you know, letting the Lord have his way in your life. You don't belong to you. Right. Nothing you have belongs to you. And so really, you're just a steward of all these things, even your own body. And uh, so, yeah, I would never, it, just for several reasons, for, for testimony's sake, I would never, I mean, it's going to be hard going around trying to witness people when you got just all kinds of craziness on your body and stuff, you know. And let me just say, you know, some people, they have those from their past life. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? We have people in our church mm -hmm. that have those. They got saved. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. They're teaching now yeah. and they're working. And yeah. I would never hold, but that's who they used to be. Right, sure. But if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Right. You know, so yeah. you had them before, but uh, I don't think a Christian should have them. You know, I th I, and this is just my opinion, but I think a sign of a healthy church is you got a couple of people in the congregation who got tattoos. Amen. I think that's a sign of a healthy church. Most, Amen. Some, some Pharisee may say, you know, no, that's a sign of a, a bad church. I think that's a good sign. Amen. You know, because uh, you got you you're, you're just rescuing people out of all that stuff. Amen. You know, so absolutely. Well, let's do this. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back, guys. Don't uh, don't go away. We're gonna deal with uh, the woke church, and we got a couple guys uh, named. Uh, there's a guy named Foich. That's kind of a big upcoming name. Uh, we're going to deal with him and uh, try to give our take on all that. Uh, guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we are in the end days, and there is a lot of wild stuff happening. And uh, so we're going to try to talk about that. And then also, if you haven't joined this channel, a channel membership yet, uh, you can support this channel for as little as $2 a month. Go ahead and hit the Join button below, and uh, that will give you access to our Monday night live streams. We go verse by verse through the book of Ephesians right now. We try to give all kinds of charts and good information. And and, uh, all that kind of stuff and so go check that out join the channel for a little two dollars a month and that'll just come monthly through youtube and uh, we appreciate that so very much god bless you guys and uh, we will play brother wesley singing forgiven i'll be and uh, have y'all heard brother wesley sing in brother wesley's a friend of mine and he comes on the live stream every now and then and so we're going to sing a song i have a or not i'm not going to sing it i'm gonna let brother wesley sing it he's a professional and uh, we'll be right back guys and we'll see you in just a minute god bless you don't go away Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. Thank you so much for watching this video. We pray that it was a blessing to you. I want to encourage you, every Thursday night we have a live stream at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on this channel. Every week we'll deal with things that happen in the news, we'll do question and answer time, we'll do giveaways, and many times we've been able to have live singing here on this channel, and you don't want to miss it. The Lord is blessed tremendously. We have a lot of people who listen from all over the world. So 9 o'clock every Thursday night, Eastern Standard Time, 9 o'clock p.m. here on this channel, and uh, we'd love to see you guys there. And God bless you, friend. Thank you very much. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you again soon. God bless you guys. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. A couple years ago, the Lord laid on my heart to do some research into the contemporary Christian music world, and I was astounded at, at what I found. I just found so many unbelievably unbiblical things, even some demonic things that were happening. And the Lord led me to put all that into a book form, and this is the book we've written, Calling Evil Good, The Live Christian Rock and Roll. And as far as books that are dealing with the negative and the dangerous aspects of contemporary Christian music, this book right now is the number one seller as of the time of the recording of this 
this video. And so uh, we want to put this out there, let you know about this book. Uh, this book will be shipped to your front door by Amazon. And we've had so many good reports from all over the world, really, of uh, people saying that, man, this book really opened up my eyes to the truth of this entire industry. And we deal with people like Hulk Hogan, Britney Spears, Beyonce, uh, Amy Grant, Alice Cooper, Elvis Presley, Larry Norman, R. Kelly, Puff Daddy, and all the record companies really all together. We deal with the, the whole big spectrum. So get your copy today. There's a link in the description below. And I know this book will help you understand the issue better and understand why this is an issue. So God bless you, friend. Hope you enjoyed the book. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and look forward to many good updates with you in the future. God bless you. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. The Lord has blessed our ministry in Kenya and we try to do many things to raise money for it. And one of the ways we do that is we have a store on Teespring where we just make uh, designs for Christian shirts and things like that and try to make that available for you to purchase. I have several neat designs in front of me. I've got our Spurgeon shirt that everybody seems to like. And then I also have the, I survived the toilet paper crisis of 2020. That's a favorite one that a lot of people have, but our all time bestseller right now is I can do all things through a verse out of context. All of these are available in our Teespring store and you can see the link below to get that. We also have several new designs. One of our new ones that just came out is Church is Essential. And uh, you can get one of those shirts and all of that goes to help fund our operation and our ministry in Kenya as well. And so we thank God for you guys getting on there and getting a shirt and it just helps us and is a blessing to us. So check it out today, our Teespring store. And God bless you guys, and we'll see you again before too long. Thank you very much.